Nothing like a nice, friendly greeting to take the curse off a cold, miserable night. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain in a minute. Let's see if I can't perk up the fire a little bit here. Any new developments? Not much. Uh, Scott's father wasn't really able to add anything concrete. Just talked about uh, about his son and how close a relationship he had with his uncle Hal. Seems like there's a lot of resentment in that family, a lot of animosity flowing. And he couldn't tell you anything more about that night. Only that he doubted Scott would have gone out in a storm. And he doesn't know anything about it either. No, but I got a feeling somebody's going to remember something. And in case we won't give up. What's wrong? I just went to see my father. I'm more confused than ever. Pamela moved out of the house. No, thank you, Mother. This isn't a social visit. Oh? I think I finally realized why you refused my offer to help. Oh, darling, you don't think I didn't appreciate it, and I loved you for doing it. It's just that I really simply don't need any help. Then what the hell were you doing with Keith Timmons? Well, I'm all ears, CC. What do you want to tell me? I don't want to tell you anything. What am I here for? Did you bring me away from the office on a busy day just to toy with me? I want you out of my life, Timmons. You have no idea how much that hurts. All I want to know is how much it'll cost to get you out of Santa Barbara. Out of Santa Barbara? Actually, out of the country, out of my life. My goodness. Don't you like me anymore? How much? Yeah, I don't think so. You know, I think the real question here is not how much it'll cost you to get me out of Santa Barbara, but how much it'll cost you to keep me quiet about the murder of Hal Clark? And the answer is... <laughs> everything you've got. 